Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to lock formulas in Excel. If you have some formulas in a file, it could be a report, it could be a dashboard and you share that file with other people, maybe your colleague or your manager or your client, then there is a possibility that these people may accidentally delete the formula or change the formula and that may give out wrong results, wrong calculations in your worksheet. So to avoid that, you can lock formulas in Excel before you share it with other people. Now before I show you how to do that, let me on a conceptual level tell you how locking cells and formulas work in Excel. By default, all the cells in Excel are locked and when I say they're locked, I mean that there is a lock property which is enabled for all these cells. But to truly restrict access to these cells, you need to protect these. So only when a cell is locked and a cell is protected, can you truly restrict access to it? But if a cell is logged and not protected, people can make changes to it. If a cell is protected but not locked, people can make changes to it. So to show you this, as of now, I'll select all these cells and I would press control one. So I would hold the control key and then I would press one. It will open the format cells dialog box. Since all of these cells are selected, I would go to protection here and you can see the locked properties enabled, which means that by default all these cells are locked and now when I go to review and here I go to protect sheet and now I protect this sheet make sure that this uh, box is checked and I, now I click OK you would notice that when I try and make changes to any cell it will not allow me to do this it will say that these are these cells are protected this happens because all these cells have the locked property enabled and have been protected now let me unprotect this sheet and to only protect the cells that have formulas, the first step would be to change the lock property of the all these cells. So I would again press Control A to select this entire worksheet. I would press Control 1 and here within protection tab, I would uncheck lock and click OK. This means that now all these cells are not locked. Now I would only select those cells that have formulas in it and lock these cells. Now in this case I have all these formulas here but if you have a worksheet where these formula cells are scattered throughout, here is a neat trick for you. Go to home and here within find and select go to go to special and in go to special dialog box click formulas and now when you click OK it will select all the cells that have formulas in this case there are formulas only in these four cells but in your case if there are formulas in different cells which are scattered throughout it will select all those cells now when these cells are selected press control 1 again within protection tab check logged property now all the cells are unlocked but only the one that have formulas are locked. Now if I go to the review tab here and I protect the sheet, it will only protect these cells that have formulas because only for these cells the log property is enabled and the sheet is protected. So now if I come here and I try and make changes to it, I'll be able to do that. But if I come here and I double click on it, you can see that it will show me this prompt. The cell or chart you're trying to change is on a protected sheet. So to make the change, you'll have to unprotect it. So in this case, all the cells that have formulas are protected. No one can make changes to it. Now, another thing is if you select this cell, you can still see the formula here in the formula bar. For all these cells, if I select it, I'll be able to see the formula. If you also want to hide the formula, you can do that. Again, I'll first go and I'll unprotect the sheet. I'll select these cells which have formulas. If you have these scattered, again, use the go to special technique and I would press control one. And here along with logged, I would also click the hidden checkbox. And now when I click OK and come back here in the review tab and protect the sheet, see what happens? When I click on the cell, the formula is not visible even in the formula bar. So now I have truly locked a cell with formula in such a way that a user cannot make changes and cannot even know what formula is there in this cell. So that's how you can lock formulas in Excel. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you and have a nice day.